We're gonna do six of them first. They'll be judged, and from those six, we'll pick two. We are making tornado probes because um, at the like end of the year, we're supposed to chase tornadoes. Students are starting their design and mockups for a tornado probe, which um, hopefully we're gonna deploy this coming uh, storm chase season. One of the students we have in the class, um, his dad is an amateur storm chaser, and he's he's. Uh, He's gonna take the probes out for us and try to deploy them. Okay, so we'll build two to deploy. Um, but like I said, each group, you're all gonna start by designing and making your own mock-up. And then we're gonna have it judged. The activity really uh, is based on the TEKS and that they're learning about how to predict weather and uh, severe weather and climate. Um, but it's something that they've never experienced, um, having to engineer something that could survive a tornado. I enjoy that we can build a probe together and that we have all these different ideas so that we can put together and build one great model. Part of the process is, is learning how to construct something so that it meets a bunch of criteria um, for surviving wind speed, getting data, taking video, um, being able to be, retrieve it when it's done, not being destroyed. It's up to you. Use any ideas you have in which you can determine what would be the best course of action to take. One of the ideas was for we do a frisbee, which we have frisbees and then we put the, the probe inside and the GoPro and then we can duct tape around, um, cut holes through the duct tape and then when we throw it, it's going to be able to fly because of a frisbee. But then we found out that it needs to have like a turtle, which is like a cone thing. So we have to change idea and make something new. I already built like, a, it's called the turtle shell and I'd like to make a second one that is kind of like a base. It has a base and then it has the probes sticking out of it. A different model instead of the original. Remember, you want them to be able to drop the probe quickly. You don't want them to have to take a lot of time. They're in the path of a tornado. Um, the probes we're designing do not move, so they're literally set on the ground. So you have to get close enough to where the tornado will go over it. If you're too far in front, the tornado could change path. If you're too close, obviously bad things could happen. The goal is to get data. Because what we eventually want to do is we, every year we want to do this and try to collect more and more data. And then hopefully one day work with like the National Weather Service as a data collection agency. And then this is the first step of a larger project. Hopefully in the next year, you guys are like the pioneer group, okay? Which doesn't sound like so much fun when you think about what could become, but you're the group that's spearheading this whole idea. Because eventually, hopefully what we want to do is we want to go and build this into a mobile program where we have a vehicle that we can modify and we can add on to it. And then eventually, hopefully, network different schools around the country so that you create kind of a weather net and get more and more data. I do enjoy these projects because we can actually apply them to real life and we can use them. And the real goal in this, and if we could contribute as a school and the community supports this, is that we contribute to um, giving better warning times. Uh, you know, when, you, when they interview people who are caught in tornadoes, the number one thing they always say is, we didn't have enough warning time. And so that's the real goal right now. It's amazing we know more about the sun than we do about how tornadoes form on our own planet. So the real goal here is for the kids to be contributing members of society to help out in, a, in an area of research that we still really don't understand completely. And they're going to help with that and they're going to gain in that and push that momentum forward to better understand tornadoes.